I wish I had some mango shaved ice right now. Mango shaved ice? Mm. I can make some for you. Here's my mango ice cream. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, children and children. This is your mango icy. Okay, now to bring it to dad. Chasing the Sun. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Eric. Today we will be showing you one of the most popular Taiwanese desserts. Mango shaved ice. We went to three different places and gave our honest review on all of them. For those who haven't been to Taiwan and don't know what mango shaved ice is, think of it as our snow cone that we have here in North America, but much tastier. What they do is they take blocks of ice made out of mango juice, sometimes milk. They shave it down, nice fine dust of that shaved ice. On top of it, they put mango cubes, and sometimes they add a scoop of mango ice cream on top. Mango actually originated from India, but Mexico and Thailand are also very famous for it. Taiwan itself has quickly developed a really good reputation for high quality mangoes, and it's very yummy. What, um, for me, the difference is uh, Taiwanese mangoes, it's Sweet, very sweet, but not like syrup. Uh, it's soft texture. It just melts in your mouth. Every time I think about it, I'm like, mm, I wish I had one. Do you want me to make one for you? Mm, okay. <laughs> Icy place, and if you come in the summertime, it's actually mango season. So make sure you get mango, uh, mango icy. This is like the best one. At uh, the one that I like at least is a Shimon Ding. The the one that's supposedly even more popular is called Icy Monster down in uh, Zhongxia Yongtan Tie. But I personally like this one. So this is the mango icy. I've had these before. I love them. Let's see if they've changed. Mm. Wow. The mango melts in your mouth. It's like syrup. Yummy. So this is, um, this is mango icy. What they do is they take blocks of ice, they shave it down so it's real fine, and then they put mango on top. Now, the insider tip, you can either have, you can pick mango ice, which means they take mango juice, you mix it with water and they freeze it and they shave that ice, or you can have milk icy, which means they take milk, they mix it with water, they freeze it and then they shave that ice. Personally, I like the milk more, it's creamy, it's almost like um, when they shave the ice, it's not 
it's not uh, blocky uh, ice like North American ice. This is very fine. It's almost like uh, ice cream ice. And this, the mango itself, uh, super sweet. It's like syrup, you know, just melts in your mouth. Um, definitely do it in the summertime when it's in season. Very yummy. So we're at uh, Smoothie House, and Smoothie House apparently is um, the best mango ice place recommended by my local friends. So let's try it. Mm. I love the mango. Super sweet, nice and soft, it melts in your mouth. Let me try the ice part. Ice is not bad. I think it could be a bit creamier compared to the one in Shimending. Mm. How about you try this part? It's actually really good. Alright, let me try it. Let me try it with the ice cream and the ice together. Mm. Yes, yeah, better. Not bad. I would give this. You know, I'm a mango ice guy, so I like it. But I would give it maybe a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Sit over there, Liam. They have trust me, sit over there, you'll be closer. You defended seats here, that is aggressive. I'm honestly not a mango icy person, so I don't really like it. It's really good, especially the mango ice cream thing on top. Well, there you have it, two critics sharing their honest point of view. Right, so Caitlin, what is your rating overall? Street and we're trying um, what is this place? This is Mango Emperor. Okay, the Chinese name is Mango Wang Di. You won't see an English name, you have to look for the Chinese sign. Anyways, Yongkan Tie, Yongkan Street is known for their mango ice. Uh, for some reason this street just gathered a lot of different mango smoothies. The most famous one is probably Smoothie House, which they actually have two locations of, so like on one uh, area that's amazing. But uh, this place is uh, actually pretty good. I am quite impressed. Um, the thing I like about this place uh, over Smoothie House is because their icy is milk here. They actually mix milk inside with the ice and they shave it really fine. So it's almost like snowflake. Um, I find that to be better. Um, I like that more. So it's more of a milky taste than an ice taste. Mm. It's beautiful. Yeah, this one that I ordered is the Mango Emperor for 170 NT. So that's the smaller version of their famous signature mango ice. Uh, smaller because Kirsten doesn't eat much mango ice. So I gotta finish all this by myself. Mm. Poor me. So that was three of the top mango ice places in Taipei. For me, it was a very tough choice which one. I've always liked San Song Mei and Ximending. I've been back there lots of times. Uh, I do like how creamy their ice is um, and it's finely shaved. I love that. But I think this time when I came back and I tried the Mango Emperor in Yongkan, that's very close to Ximending, um, San Song Mei. So I don't know, it's a toss up between those two as my favorite. Smoothie House, very popular, always long lineup, but I would say it's second to the other two that I like. How about you? 
Well, I really, really, really love Taiwanese mangoes, and I like chewing on ice, but, um, ice, mango, and milk combined, it's just like, it doesn't, it's not too appealing to me. It's like, I could, I can eat it, but I wouldn't prefer to. Oh well, no more for me. Please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming food and travel adventures. <laughs> what are you doing with a big block of ice? I'm chewing it. <laughs>